Hello, Gareth here, and this is another brush lesson. And um, here's my brush, and we're going to be using the tip of the brush, and we're going to try and make as many strokes as possible using the tip of the brush, and then we're going to do a, a real landscape painting that uses mostly the very tip of the brush. Now in a way, I've already done this in the first lesson, but not enough. So we're going to go more into this, which may seem impossible, but it isn't, trust me. So here we go. So using the very, very tip of the brush. So not the side, but the very tip or somewhere between the tip and the corner as well. And we can make marks like that. And of course we can make them quickly. And that's very interesting. And you can really get a feel, can't you? That these strokes are different. This is a careful, slow stroke. This is a quicker stroke. But also we can make it thicker or thinner like this pressing down then going up pressing down going up and that's a bit dry so add more water to my paint and here we go again so pressing down going up now could you see how you could use this for mountains in the background obviously very far away because they'll be quite low or it could be a distant um, peninsula um, a piece of land coming out across the sea so it's very useful the tip of the brush for making that kind of shape but also we've got vertical too and we can do a thin stroke like that, or we can do a thick stroke like that. And maybe you can see straight away that we can use this stroke for making uh, posts for a fence. And shall we make them just get a bit smaller? And we could connect them like this going across and again as we come closer we just press down a bit more and make it thicker like that and then we could do something like a tree So here we go, let's put a tree here using the tip of the brush. We're gonna go up like that. And then we can have the branches coming out like this. And over here. And there we go, a basic tree shape. So easy. And we can do other kinds of marks like um, this. Maybe for, it could be grass. So here we could do that around this post using the tip of the brush. And then any time we could turn this round and just do a flick like that. And then we've got a feeling of um, grass and around this tree like that. And then flick, 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 flick. There we go. 
so although it might seem a bit abstract and a little bit boring these making these marks I would recommend that you just go over a sheet of paper just making these marks and seeing what happens because sometimes I I do doodles I'm just playing around with the brush and suddenly I'll see something that's really interesting and uh, it's a creative um, inspirational moment even after 15 16 years of painting just that still happens I I'm just playing around with the brush doodling like this and then suddenly I see something and I think oh that would make a good painting and it's often much better than where I I'll think about painting something and then go and paint it that can work but this way also works and I also recommend you just cover the paper with brush strokes because the more brush strokes you do the better you're going to get at feeling the brush and being able to use the brush well and to know how it will will respond and to to basically getting good at making nice marks because we also want to make nice marks we want the ability like here to make a, a really thin one that's not so thin is it <laughs> let's have another go to make something really thin like that or to make something really thick like that and you want to be able to do it in one go so that takes practice so all of this is good practice you can even start doing things like um, a fence line um, coming forward so you can start off with a small post and then it gets a bit bigger and then it gets bigger and it's going to get thicker too and bigger and bigger so practice doing this here on some scrap paper rather than when you do your beautiful painting and you make a mistake or it doesn't look right and then that can be very disappointing so it's really really important to do all this brush work and practicing on a piece of scrap paper or even good paper this is actually fairly good paper so I hope this is helpful please go ahead and have a go and after this we're going to paint a picture using the tip of the brush okay See you soon.